about directed numbers or integers. So many of you know that numbers stop at zero. There are no numbers before zero, but yes, we know there are numbers after zero, one, two, three, four, five, and so on till the infinity. But if you think that numbers stops at zero and there is no number before zero, nothing smaller than zero, then you might know more about it. But let me tell you, there are many numbers which are smaller than zero. And you can keep going like with negative numbers till infinity, they never stops. So uh, negative three, as you can see here, the more negative you go, the more smaller your number will be, the smaller your number will be. So I can say here that negative one is smaller than zero and negative two is smaller than negative one. So the more left you go, the more smaller value you will get. So if I say negative six or zero, because zero is on the right side and negative six is on the left, negative six is smaller than zero. If I say negative six and negative two, negative six is still smaller. The more uh, on the negative side, it's actually opposite. If you do it here, you will say six and one. Okay, so six is bigger if it's about positive, like normal numbers. But when you do the same thing with on negative side, negative six is smaller than negative one because the more left you go, the more smaller you become. So when we, when we talk about uh, positive and negative numbers together, negative and positive numbers together, they are known as directed numbers or integers. They are directed numbers or integers. We call them integers, okay? So now we will learn in this lesson how can we bring them together, like adding or subtracting them together, directed numbers. Let's see. So let's see these examples first. So you have a positive five with negative seven in the first example. So let me you know, draw positive five. You have five of positive. And you have seven of negatives. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, each box is one. So five positives you have, five positive ones, and seven negative ones. Uh, for your information, let me tell you, you all know this still. You know, a positive one and a negative one comes together, gives you a zero, like plus one minus one, or one minus one is actually a zero. It cancels each other, okay? Same thing will happen here. So a plus one and a negative one will cancel each other, which is zero, another zero, another zero, another zero, another zero. So what we are left with is, I'm using red color because we are left with the negatives. We are left with two, which are negative two. So a positive five and a negative seven together will give you a negative two. Okay, now with our other example, we have a negative three, one, two, a three, and we have positive nines. So plus, plus, plus four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And as I told you, plus one minus one gives you a zero. So this plus one and minus one cancel each other. This one gives you zero. This one gives you zero as well. So what is left with us? Three, four, five, six positives. I'm left with six positives. So what we understand from these two examples that when you have a positive and a negative number together, the answer, the answer is, the answer is the difference between the two. It means we always subtract them. We know the difference between seven and five is two. So answer will always be the difference between them. And then we see which value is bigger. So here seven is bigger and it has a negative sign. So your answer will have a negative sign. If you see the same thing uh, with the second question, you see we have a negative number and a positive number together. Obviously we have to find the difference between them. So difference between uh, nine and three is six. Nine, my, we, all, we always subtract any. Remember we always subtract when you have a negative and a positive number together. So the difference is when we get after subtracting. So we get six, obviously nine minus three is six. And you can see that nine is a bigger number and it has got a positive sign. 
So it's a positive 6. Okay, so the sign will come from the bigger number. If it's a bigger number has got negative sign, it will be negative answer. If the bigger number has got a positive sign, it will be positive answer. I hope you are getting it. There are two more different examples I'll do before we move to some examples. Okay, so in this case, you can see we have two negatives, two negatives, and three negatives, and they are together. Now, can we cancel them? I don't think so. You can't cancel them because they all are negatives. We can only cancel negative and a positive together. You can't cancel negatives together. So now we just have to count them. So we have one, two, three, four, five negatives and answer will still be red because it is still negative. They all are five and they all are negative. So the answer will be negative five. And if you see the same thing with the next example, five positive, and 9 positive. And we will see now, can we cancel them? No, we can't because we don't have any other, uh, any other negative number. So we, they all are positive. You have to just add them. So how many positives you have in the end? I have 14 positives in the end. This is how we bring uh, directed numbers together. Let's do some examples now. So as you can see, positive and a negative number together. As I told you, what we will do, first we will subtract them, find the difference. So 11 and 7, the difference between them is 4. Now I'll see which one is bigger. I think 11 is bigger, it has a negative sign, so the answer will be negative 4. Same thing I'll do with the next one, 11 and 15. The difference is 4 again, 15 minus 11 is 4. This time, the 15 is bigger number and it has a positive value so it will be positive 4. If you don't try to put positive before a number and it's the only answer you get like it's a 4 or positive 4 is the same thing. So you can just leave it as 4. Now you can see the next one. 31 has no sign before it. If there is no sign before a number you should know that it is a automatically it's a positive number. Okay, 31 positive, 4 negative. Find the difference between 31 and 4. The difference will be 27. And 31 is a positive number, so it's positive 21. Okay, next one, 29 and 14. We'll find the difference between 29 and 14. So 29 minus 14 will be 15. And 29 is bigger, so it's a negative 15. Next one, 45 and 12. Find the difference between 45 and 12. It will be 33. And 45 is bigger, so it's going to be negative 33 because it has got a negative sign. As I told you, when we have two negatives together, we add them because now together we have 11 negatives. Same thing here, we have got 21 negatives. We have same thing with positives. When you have both positives, you add them and they are both positive. So you now you have uh, 46 positives. Even if you don't put positive before it, it's still positive. Uh, and now you have 58 negatives. This is how we uh, we bring them together. We bring collect the directed numbers. Uh, one more thing before we end this video is, okay, what happens when sign come in front of each other? Okay, so when a positive negatives come in front of each other, it changes to negative. So this will become four minus seven. And when a negative and a negative come in front of each other, it changes to positive. Okay, so this will become 5 plus 9. Remember this? Okay, so here you will see negative 12. This, this has nothing to do with this. Okay, so negative 12 will stay negative 12. Now, positive and negative becomes, comes together, so it will change to negative 34. Now, if I solve them, 4 minus 7... Uh, I know 4 is positive, 7 is negative, so the, I have to find the difference. 7 minus 4 is 3. 7 is bigger, it's negative, so it's negative 3. In this case, this became just plus 5 plus 9. 5 plus 9 is 14. And in this case, it's negative 12 and negative 34, so this will become negative because they both are negative, and I will add them. Negative, sorry, 46. And same thing will happen if you have brackets and sign come in front of each other like here plus and minus. It will be the same thing for minus 7. Again, minus minus plus, And again, negative 12 plus minus becomes minus 
34 and they'll give you the same answer so it's going to be negative 3 it's going to be 14 and it's going to be negative 46 i hope this video is of help to you please uh, share and subscribe our channel share our videos and to support our channel let me know if you want me to solve anything else and have a nice day